things. I hope that everybody is getting ready for the holidays and um, getting prepared for things. I just wanted to share with you some of my stocking stuffer ideas. I have found a lot of um, great ideas through other people on YouTube and I had a good time looking at everything that people are putting in their stockings so I thought it would be fun to share with you what I am putting in my children's stockings this year. So here are all of the stockings. Um, I had these personalized from personal creations like I don't know over 10 years ago and they don't really fit a lot of stuff which is a challenge for me because I really like stuffing these stockings with so many things um, but I'll go ahead and show you. This is my husband Jim. This is me. This is my daughter Emily. It's really a pretty angel. This is my son Patrick. He has the little teddy bear sitting by the fireplace. And my daughter Madison. And she has the little snowman. And she has the very cute Mickey and Minnie uh, stocking holder. And we have these other stocking holders which they're really pretty but they flip like really easily as soon as I put anything in there. So the stockings usually end up on the floor. Um, there's Emily and Patrick when they were little. And these are our Christmas cards this year. I don't normally display them on the mantle like this, but I just thought they came out so cute. So I wanted to uh, just put them out so I can enjoy them. So this is Emily, and she is 14. Madison is 6, and Patrick is 12. So we have a big variation of ages there. Um, so the stockings are very much different from each other. And let me go ahead and show you what I am putting in their stockings this year. Okay, so first I'll begin with Madison's stocking. And here's her little snowman stocking. And here is what I have purchased to put inside so far. Um, these little num nums. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these. Anything that comes in these like little um, packages, they're in the blind bags and things like that. My daughter just loves them. I don't understand the concept of purchasing something that you don't know what it is and it's a surprise and you're spending money on it and you don't even know what you're opening. But um, my daughter who is six loves these types of things. So I got a couple of those. Um, along with that same theme. There's also these giftums. Same concept. No idea what's inside of it. It'll be a surprise. And she loves Shopkins. Anything Shopkins. And I thought this was really cute. It's like um, a little ornament. And inside is, we don't know, <laughs> a surprise. Um, but it's, there's going to be a little surprise Shopkins inside of that. And I just thought that was really cute. And I found um, all of this stuff so far at Walmart. I also picked up some hair ties. And these are like the scrunchies that I used to wear back in high school. But they work really well in her hair. And they seem to really keep it back nicely when she does dance class and stuff. Um, I always love using these. They just seem to do a better job than the elastic ones. And they don't pull and she doesn't cry when I'm trying to take it out. They're just easier on the hair. So I got some of those to put in there. Trolls is all the rage this Christmas. Anything trolls, my daughter's gonna go nuts for. And I found these little um, hair bands. They're also, you know, the soft kind. They're not as soft as the scrunchies, but they are soft and they have like a little flower on it, which I think is cute. I found this little jingly bracelet. Um, it was actually in a jewelry shop that I had gone to, um, a little boutique -y kind of store, and they had these for just a couple of dollars. And I thought it was really cute to wear for the holidays. So I think she'll have fun wearing that. And here is a, another little Shopkins, kind of like the blonde set. Don't know what's inside. I think this is the Happy Home Collection. Um, Season 6 Shopkins. There's two Shopkins inside and she will enjoy opening all of these little packages and not knowing what's in them so that'll be fun to do on Christmas morning. 
I try to always include a toothbrush, a fun type of toothbrush. I usually get electric or something that sings. Um, here's the Trolls toothbrush. I got this at Target, I think. Most of this stuff is either going to be from Walmart or Target. And this takes up a lot of the stocking, um, and she'll be real excited to get it. Trolls Band-Aids. I try to put things in their stockings that I know they need or will use. Um, that we kind of need for the house anyway, so I thought the band-aids and the toothbrush were a few ideas. And of course we have to have some treats in the stockings, so I got her this box of Skittles. And then I also got her this candy cane of Hershey Kisses. It's one of her favorite candies. And then just to have something cute kind of popping out of the top, I found this ornament at um, Target and it kind of looks like Madison. It just reminds me of her with the blonde piggy tails and the little hat. So I thought that would be cute just to kind of have sticking out of the stocking. I try to get them a special ornament every year that's relevant to um, whatever has happened to them that year. This is not going to be that. I want to find something um, relevant to her first year of school because she started kindergarten this year. So maybe something with the year on it. I haven't gotten to the mall yet to find the more personalized items. But um, in any event, this is a cute little keepsake to have anyway because it does remind me of my little Madison. And that is everything um, that's going into Madison stocking this year. Again, she's six years old and I am going to make sure it all fits in here. So here it is, almost everything fits. I don't know, I might have to fuss with it a little bit more. Um, like this looks cute. I just have the little bracelet hanging off of the candy cane and the little dolly sticking out. And the toothbrush is just really big. So I don't know, I might fuss with it a little bit more, see if I can make it work. Otherwise, um, like I said, I, the stockings usually are set down on the floor because my um, holder thingies don't really do a well enough job holding them up. So I'll end up like sometimes piling things next to it. And that is it. Madison's stocking is complete. And next I have my son Patrick's stocking. Here is his. And for um, his stocking, he is 12 years old. I have Peeps, which my kids love Peeps. All holidays, we always get them, whatever the theme is. And it's nice that now they have them like every holiday um, themed up. When I was little, they only had Easter, so that's fun. Silly string. This is something I'm not too familiar with, but it was actually something that he's been wanting. It's called a fidget cube. I really have no idea. Little doodaddy things that you just fidget with, I guess. 12 year old boy wants. So <laughs> that is going in his stocking. I got him some gloves just because we're always losing them and he likes these really thin knit ones um, to wear in the morning going to school. So. I just thought it would be good to have an extra pair. This is really cool. It's money soap. So it says inside each bar, you'll find a dollar, five dollar, ten dollar, twenty dollar, or a fifty dollar bill. And I got this at Kohl's for, the price on it is $10.99, but I'm sure it was like 20 or 30 percent off and I probably had a coupon and Kohl's cash and all that. But um, I thought this was a really neat idea for a stocking, especially for a boy. So it'll inspire him to wash and get clean and maybe find some money. Um, planet Putty, this one is Jupiter and they had all the different planets with different colors and things. So I thought it was pretty neat. It's a little more interesting than the um, little things of putty that you normally get. It looks like there's goo hanging over the side and it's just kind of themed up with the planets. My son has a peanut Trina allergy, so sometimes it's hard finding him special treats to put in his stocking. Um, but this is something that he really likes. It's this Biscoff. It's like a cookie butter, and it's really not the healthiest of things, but he always wants me to get it. And it is safe. There is no peanuts, tree nuts, anything like that. It just says it may contain wheat and soy, so that is safe for him. And I thought that he would uh, be really surprised to get this in his stocking. So Christmas is a good time for that. Also, um, magnetic putty. I like to find unusual things for him to uh, 
just kind of tinker around with. So I thought that would be interesting. It's like um, some type of a putty, but I guess it is magnetic. So we'll see. Um, I also got him Andy's candies. He likes those. And you can see on the back, it's gluten-free, peanut-free, tree nut-free. So I love to see that little label on packaging because I'm always worried, always have to read everything. Even around the holidays, sometimes they change up their manufacturing and um, things that he normally can have, he can't. So always have to check the ingredients. And then finally, this um, candy cane filled with Starburst. And that is everything for Patrick. Molly, here is her stocking. She is 14 years old, so here are some of the ideas that I had come up with her. Again, some more peeps. I got her some Lush products, just like um, some of these bath bombs. So can't go wrong with Lush. Anything from Lush, usually I like it myself, but teenage girls love the, um, the Lush products. So I thought that was something nice to have. I also had purchased for her from Kohl's these um, aloe fuzzy socks and it's a two pack. It's this really pretty like powder blue color and they feel really cozy so I think she's going to enjoy those. My daughter is also a big fan of Starbucks so I purchased for her this um, little hot cocoa packet. And then to go along with it, they have these white chocolate peppermint sticks. It has like white chocolate melted at the bottom so you can make your cocoa and then you can put this little stirrer in and let the chocolate melt in the cocoa. So I think that's going to be really yummy. I found these at Target, which is my favorite place in the world to shop. I find everything there. Um, I also have this from the Republic of Tea, gingerbread tea. So after school every day, we usually um, have tea together, especially in the colder months, and kind of talk about her day and see what's going on and things like that. When we have the time, she's crazy busy um, with after school activities most of the time, but when she is home, I always make us a cup of tea and she likes the flavor teas. Um, we currently have the caramel apple, which she's really been enjoying. So I think that this'll be something to have. We'll see. Her favorite chocolate is this um, Hershey's Cookies and Cream, and I like the packaging for the holidays with the Nutcracker. It's very festive. And I also got her um, the regular Hershey bar with the little snowman on it, which I really wanted to get for my son too, but um, this one says manufactured on the same equipment that processes almonds. So um, their regular Hershey bars do not say that, but the holiday ones do, which is disappointing because it would have been cute to include in his stocking, but that's okay. So it just got really dark, sorry. <laughs> There's a cloud passing by and my whole living room just got like super dark. Hopefully you can still see me. Um, I also got her one of these candy canes that have these the candy cane kisses. I don't know if you've ever tried them, but they are really good. It's like white chocolate with um, peppermint, and I think they only have them around this time of year. And I get like a whole bunch and just stock up because they're really delicious. And then I also got her from that same jewelry boutique store that um, I was shopping with my mom at, and I got the little jingly bracelet for Madison. I found this little bracelet, and I just thought it was really pretty. It has like a heart on either side and the stone in the middle. And what I really liked about it was the little tab on it says sing. And my daughter sings. She's an amazing singer. She has a beautiful voice and she's always, um, you know, singing at school concerts and tries out for all the plays and things like that. So I just thought it was kind of sentimental and nice to have uh, the little bracelet that has a little thing on it that says sing. And finally, I just got this little um, notepad with Santa on it and a little pen to go along with it from the Target dollar spot. And that is everything that is going into Emily's stocking. For the most part, um, I'm going to probably still pick up some makeup items. And I did place an order with Avon in the Mark catalog. They had um, 
this like chocolate face mask and chocolate body lotion and just like all this chocolate uh, toiletry stuff. So I ordered some of that to put in the stocking as well. That is everything that is going into my children's stockings this holiday season. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that maybe it inspired you or gave you some new ideas to um, do for your children this year. Bye guys, have a great holiday.